this is your Weather Extreme video for Wednesday, December the 30th. Gosh, only two days of 2009 are left. I'm meteorologist Brian Peters, and while we're waking up to a cold morning, it's not quite as cold as we've seen in the last several days. All right, let's get to uh, some Skycam images to start off the morning here. And there's a look at Mount Chiha, and we can certainly see uh, the lights from off to uh, Talladega and uh, uh, the uh, and Lincoln, and um, we can also see those clouds. How about some clouds over the battleship Alabama? I certainly do like that shot down there. And then one more shot here of Tuscaloosa as we look out towards Northport over the Lurleen B. Wallace Bridge uh, over the river there. And how about a quick look at our snow cover? And this is uh, snow cover as of. Uh, this morning, and you can see that uh, a large chunk of the U.S. Uh, is certainly uh, covered by snow with some fairly significant depths up there in the uh, uh, western part of Canada and, of course, in the, uh, in the southwest part of Canada, actually, and in the Rockies and then in the, the uh, north-central United States. And I also uh, wanted to show you the temperature trace for my temperature observations. You can certainly tell when the clouds came in last night, can't you? Uh, looks like a little around 9 o'clock. I know that uh, I took the dog out and we had uh, some beautiful ring uh, around the moon last night. All right, here is our surface chart. And uh, you can see the storm system that is uh, in the southwest, pardon me, the northwest Gulf of Mexico over south Texas. And that will be bringing us some rain later today. In the upper atmosphere, there's that trough, and that trough will be coming across and moving that surface low out into the Atlantic and then up the uh, Atlantic coast. And that will also be putting us into a more northwesterly flow, and we're going to be turning much colder. It is a little bit warmer this morning. Uh, we've been looking at probably 85% of the country below freezing, but now it looks like uh, maybe around 70% or so trying to judge that uh, as accurately as possible with the human eye. And across central Alabama, temperatures primarily around 40 from Birmingham back towards Tuscaloosa, but in the upper 30s over the east central part of the state where uh, it took a little longer for the clouds to get in there, and therefore they uh, they cooled off uh, a little bit more. Here is our, our radar this morning, a radar uh, composite for the southeastern United States, and you can see good deal of rain along the Texas coast and over Louisiana spreading into Mississippi. Now we do have an issue with the dryness in the atmosphere and this is a look at the sounding from last night, the upper air sounding from the Shelby County Airport and certainly uh, it's going to have to moisten that down before the rain will reach the ground so we may have a situation with some virga for a while. Uh, the uh, watch warning map, uh, lots of winter weather advisories uh, out there for the western part of the United States and uh, in a few in Texas, uh, New Mexico, Oklahoma, and Missouri as uh, that storm system brings a little bit of winter weather to that area. QPF-wise, uh, we're kind of, uh, the, the uh, HPC guys have been reducing the uh, precip amounts. I still think uh, probably around a half inch is uh, likely for our area. Storm Prediction Center is not out looking any organized severe weather uh, for the next several days, but uh, thunderstorms are possible along the Gulf Coast of Louisiana, Mississippi, uh, looks like a little bit of uh, the coastal Alabama, as well as southeast Texas. All right, let's get to the 06Z GFS model run. And here we go. Here comes the rain today, and uh, uh, as we were telling you yesterday, it looks like the rain probably will hold off until the afternoon hours and uh, spread from west to east across the area. But, of course, we're going to have to deal with moistening the atmosphere. This is an intermediate time. This is uh, midnight tonight, and uh, you can see that the rain spreads across much of the area with uh, the low in the uh, along the Gulf Coast. By tomorrow, the uh, trough uh, begins to deepen up and strengthen a little bit over Texas, the short wave trough, and uh, our, our low moves off uh, into the southeast coast of the U.S., and we've got a little bit of uh, moisture coming with the short wave trough, so uh, producing a little bit of uh, winter precipitation over the Texas panhandle in north-central Texas. That trough zips by quickly. This is uh, midday on uh, Friday, the 1st of January, 2010. And you can see uh, that it's still on the table that the GFS is suggesting there may be some um, 
moisture coming along with that trough. And so I don't think we're going to see any kind of major snow event. This is going to be one of those things where it's going to turn colder and we're going to see uh, with if there is some moisture, we're going to see some snow flurries, maybe even uh, a little bit of a snow shower. Uh, the flow, uh, the, the, the uh, closed low over the northeastern United States uh, does not appear to be uh, forecast by the GFS to be quite as strong, and the flow, while northwesterly, is not as strongly northwesterly. Uh, so it looks like for Saturday, we will be chilly, but maybe not quite as cold as uh, it was indicating yesterday. However, uh, energy is going to rotate around that uh, closed low, and as that energy does, that's going to steepen uh, the flow across the eastern half of the country, and that should turn us even colder uh, on the 3rd. And then by the 4th, some of that energy uh, shortwave uh, is coming around, rotating around that closed low, which is moved off the Atlantic coast uh, just a little bit. Uh, and you can see that trough extending uh, just across Kentucky and Tennessee. And uh, once again, that certainly pushes the colder air further south. You can see the 540 line down along the Gulf Coast. But we stay basically dry, it appears. Uh, we may see a few clouds. Uh, the cold stays with us. So this is going to be a bit of an extended cold spell here. Uh, this is the 5th at midday and uh, certainly cold with the 540 line down along the Gulf Coast. By the 6th, uh, a week from today, uh, we see a, another short wave rotating through the flow. This is all helping to reinforce the cold air. There's another short wave back up there in the north central U.S. coming out of Canada. And the bottom line is, you notice the 540 line hasn't moved much. So it does look like we're headed for a bit of an extended cold period. And finally, we stay dry for much of uh, next week as we see the 540 line finally beginning to get away from the Gulf Coast. All right, let's go out into Voodoo now. And there's a look at uh, the 9th, Saturday the 9th, and certainly uh, a, a substantial trough in the, in the southern stream, uh, and that also responsible for a bit of a low. Now, according to this, and using the 540 as a guide, and but this is Voodoo, so we can't be that specific, but it would look like it would be a rain event. And then... Uh, by the end of the period, the 13th, it does look like the uh, GFS is suggesting that uh, we may actually see uh, the northern stream become active, and with that, uh, we warm up a bit, uh, so we may see a slight warming in the, the uh, middle of January after this extended uh, cold spell. And last but not least, uh, I want to draw your attention to the graph at the bottom, and certainly uh, this is the North Atlantic Oscillation, and that is the... 14-day forecast, and when it's negative, that means that uh, it, things are going to be cold over the northern hemisphere and, and uh, North America, and certainly uh, that is supporting this idea of the forecast being uh, uh, cold. So with that, uh, I appreciate you tuning into the Weather Extreme video. Certainly hope that you have a nice day today, and if you got to do anything before the rain gets here, get that done this morning because uh, it looks like we'll see rain later this afternoon in, and into the overnight hours. Hope that you have a great Wednesday, and Godspeed. Each day there are new stories to tell about the people who live here and the place we call home. All of the faces that I see All of the places close to me They're all part of all the best things about Sharing your stories on ABC 3340, Alabama's news leader.